Yep. Great. Hey everybody, welcome to day one of Vintage Computer Festival Midwest. Uh, thanks for tuning in yesterday and kind of watching the video about the uh, uh, things getting going with uh, vendors and the exhibits and things like that. I, I promise my shirt wasn't always this sweaty, but it is four million degrees in here. So I thought we'd go out, we'd look at the floor, see what's new today, just get an idea of the crowd feel. And then uh, if you're in the area, get here. Just get here, just come down here. So thank you so much to my friend Rick from Rick's random retro for uh, being the camera person on this. Uh, we'll swing things around and we'll say hello to, hello to people kind of as we go. So, hey, thanks Rick, I appreciate it. All right, hey, there's me, hey. there's me and Rick and we should be in frame, who knows? Frame is. Who knows? So, it's okay, oh no, Retro Tech Chris is now looking, oh wait, I gotta turn it, hey, perfect, so. How many YouTubers let's take together? I know, frame, so. Ex exactly, thanks so much, sir. Yep. All right, hey, and it's Chris. <laughs> hey. hey, look, there's Chris and we're probably in frame too. We could be, nice we, to see very you Very possible, you never know, yeah. so. Definitely check out their channels. So we're going through, they're doing pretty good biz at the uh, t-shirt stand. But if you remember yesterday when we kind of walked through here, things were kind of spartan. There wasn't like a ton of people. And uh, you probably are gonna realize that there's a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh, there's all kinds of people. There's K-Fest people here even. How's it going today, y'all? Good, how are you? Doing really well. So I'm just going through and just uh, kind of filming the the crowd feel and just stuff yeah. like that. Try to get people excited, maybe get here next year if they can't make it here this year. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's really great. It's the event draws in all kinds of folks. So, good to see you guys, I'll catch up with you. So, all manner of exhibits. Hey, as you see, down there at the very bottom, Ron McAdams collecting retro Macintosh computers is for everyone, and it really is. It really is. Everybody can kind of take advantage of this. But it's kind of nice, they've got like some real film crew stuff here this year, capturing things. But man, there are four million people here. And it's really cool, because actually earlier today, I met some younger YouTube people that are trying to get started. So we're getting them some things for their channel. Steve and I are gonna do some donations. So, but there are all manner of really cool one -off projects and stuff. Convert your, uh, uh, convert your, Atari, or I'm sorry, your arcade PCBs and make them work with all kinds of new modern solutions. I'll tell you what, man, there's more sun stuff on display here this year than uh, I have seen in many, many long years. Hey, there's uh, Retro, or there's uh, Retro, ugh, there's Steve Mahoney. I'll figure out what his channel's called one of these days. Super Mole Retro, gosh. You think I'd remember that by now? But yeah, lines are moving kind of slow just because there's a lot of people stopping and looking, checking out all the fun things that are going on. There are uh, more than a few presentations today that people are making, They're checking things out. If you're wanting to get in on your Windows 10 era laptop, you can do that. All manner, project PCs, PCBs. It's funny, some people have the right idea, they brought a shopping cart. So, yeah, Packard Bells, very nice, very nice. So, all manner of projects, all kinds of cool stuff. So, we're moving a little bit quicker than yesterday because uh, it was a little bit more of a leisurely stroll, but as you can see, man, there are a million people. Oh my gosh, it's Garth Beagle. Garth, how are you doing, sir? Oh, look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. There's like, a, there's one of them there, QR codes. Huh, crazy. But yeah, here at the table, it's, it's just uh, there was a lot more stuff here earlier. Oh my gosh. Jay, it's, it's, hey, uh, there's one thing from yeah. one computer video. We need pliers to get it on. The power cable is stuck here. On what? For the hard drive? Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll figure that out. Give me, yeah, give me a couple minutes because okay, I, I was fine. kind of just doing a recording. Yeah. Okay, so I'll be, I'll be there. I don't know if I have pliers, but I'll probably find somebody who has pliers. Oh my gosh, it's Tom Barber. Tom needs to go to a barber. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's Eric Helgeson. I mean, there's like blue scuzzies out the, the wazoo here. So I guess you need a, a blue Macintosh case to go, or is it purple? I don't think I can't tell. To go with your blue scuzzy. But man, all kinds of stuff here. There was a Lisa earlier that I saw. There's some Macintosh, uh, or I'm sorry, some uh, uh, IBM convertibles and all manner of really neat stuff. And there, there's a few things that maybe we can see today that we couldn't see yesterday just because tables were kind of covered up for after hours. But yeah, pretty neat. Very cool stuff. Oh wow, that's a really cool trackball. 
That's awesome. I have no idea what that is. Oh yeah, duo. Huh, look at there. Cool Macintosh stuff. There's some uh, 950s again. Here's Matt selling those. The free table is uh, in full effect today. Um, I saw earlier somebody put a boxed Macintosh 7200 over here. So they were uh, desperate to get rid of it and somebody was desperate to take it home. So very cool stuff. Docking station for a Dell laptop. Just all manner little doodads as you now you can get your, your DJ show off the road. Hey, look at those. If you needed those, you'd be glad you had them here. So we're just going to take a quick look and inside the um, presentation spaces just because we kind of got more of an in-depth view of that yesterday. But I just wanted to show you just how crazy, how crazy it is. It's just nuts how many people are in here doing different things. So I will have to do some smaller videos of some of the more interesting things. But heck, I just wanted to let people know just kind of what's happening. Let's take a look at uh, ballroom B and C. I think that's the numbers. So, oh yeah, I remember this from last year. This is really cool. Core memory, like in the, uh, the Apollo program. So yeah, way cool, way cool. The big irons back there in the corner. So if you're really interested, that room is so loud, so loud. But back here is kind of where you uh, can meet and greet all the uh, cool YouTube folk. Stan Cross, you're going to recognize him from uh, Kansas Fest and beyond. So Kevin was here earlier, tech select doing some stuff. There's Dave, there's Adrian. Adrian, what do you think of this? <laughs> what do I think of what? what hello? What do you think oh, yeah, of what? Sorry. Adrian, what do you think of this event? This is your first year oh, here, right? Oh, yeah, it is. Yes. Okay, very cool. Um, a lot of people, it's hot, I'm sweating. Yeah, I know. And, uh, so are you. Yes, I know, I know. Um, it's been really interesting meeting a lot of fans that I, I got used to this yeah. because I work in my basement. Yeah. So I'm not used to like running to people who are like, I love your stuff. So it's, yeah. it's unlinened. And well, cool. I think a lot of people love your stuff because it's just so real. And I think that's very important. <laughs> I guess that's what so, they've been saying, which is yeah, amazing. It's, uh, so thank you very much. Yeah, I no, didn't mean to interrupt you. So, yes, talk to you later. But there's Ken wowing people. There's Brett in the back. So the everybody wants to play on LGR's wood grain PC. We've got quite a line of folks waiting to do that. So, but yeah, man, there's just so much stuff going on. There's Ben. Ben was 3D print. Oh, he's still 3D printing stuff. But yeah, calculators, all kinds of amazing stuff. So, kinds of cool PC Junior. Oh gosh, so loud, so loud. Yeah. Yeah, that's important. The auction where they uh, raise money to keep this event going. That's always very important. Okay, sustenance is also very important as well. So, yeah, more PS2 awesomeness. More our. Uh, more uh, OS2 warp awesomeness. <laughs> so, oh yeah, FujiNet. Yeah, this is gonna be like the the new hotness right here. So just the ability to uh, go through and kind of load from the network your uh, games and stuff and your applications for your uh, Apple II and Coleco. I mean, there's Commodore 64. I mean, it's like like the five million different platforms this thing is coming to. I do think it's really, really funny though that you can track the position of the ISS. They have an app to do that. So, but yeah, just so many amazing things. It's so much fun. Oh yeah, this is all powered on today. This was all powered off yesterday. You play some, play some Dark Castle. 
get really, really frustrated. So, yeah. So yeah, there was that uh, that con or the uh, terminal with no screen. So yeah, just so much stuff going on. We'll uh, we'll do a video a little bit later with sort of a uh, maybe a taste of what's going on kind of in the later hours as people start winding things down. And I'll probably also post some things about my uh, chat that I'm gonna do a little bit later with Steve from Mac84. But anyway, that's it for now. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, remember to uh, check out the website for BCF Midwest. And uh, if you haven't been here this year, try to get here next year. It's a really good time. Talk to you soon, bye.